Hello everybody, my name is Caleb Carone, or Astro Carone, and today I'm going to be showing you my data from the 533 MC Pro that I recently just got delivered a few days ago, and I got a first light with it the other night, and I was blown away when I stretched the data. So we're going to go ahead and just process this, and I want to show you the workflow Another workflow, I've done like three of these already, but I keep improving on processing. So I'm gonna put an S for stretch, and we're just gonna go ahead and stretch that data, and this is gonna look awesome. Like the amount of noise, there was like no noise in this image. Like it was just, for 6.5 hours, it was pretty awesome. Obviously when you stretch more, more noise appears, but with this image, I was able to stretch it enough to get that detail out and it was just absolutely amazing um, also I forgot to mention to change make sure to change your mode to 16 bits and it automatically did that already from deep sky stacker so um, yes it's green because of the L extreme filter but you could see the North American nebula just hiding behind this green bull crap here which we will gladly just take away and we're just gonna stretch that a little bit more and you can see that Look at that, there's like no noise. So what we're gonna do is levels, boom. We're just gonna do that. Just really quick color calibration. Um, also we are going, there's some edges. So when you when you stack data, there's some like edges around that aren't fully, like you can see like, nope, I can see it, but I don't know if you can. But there's some edges you wanna take away because of the stacking artifacts. We're just gonna boop like that, go like that, go like that, and go like that. And that should be enough, you know, uh, maybe a little more because I know there's some weird stuff going on here. When I first process the image, so I'm just gonna do that, a bit of that, like that, just like that. Because there's a lot going on in this photo and I love it. So we're just gonna do another stretch. But to sneeze here. Um, gonna stretch that more beautiful look you can now it's starting to come out and you're starting to see the North American nebula um, I actually want to make a new layer here for levels oops uh, we're gonna do that and we're just gonna drop it down just like that and now it's starting to bring out more of the nebula which we want to see and I'm just gonna do a quick 180 and just how I had it with the other photo, which you probably saw on Instagram already, but I'm gonna stretch that even more. And let's zoom in right now and see the noise. Look at that, barely any noise. That is just amazing. This camera is just clean as hell, man. I love it. I was just enjoying it so much, processing these photos. Um, so what I'd like to do after this, there's some gradients going on. There's some uneven light you can see. So what I like to do is a quick um, gradient, ex oops, a quick gradient exterminator, G for gradient. We're going to go to the lasso tool and just select the nebula and I'm going to inverse that so it doesn't screw up any of the nebula in the, in the inner. So I'm going to go to filter. RC Astro, gradient exterminator, boom, leave it on medium, looks pretty good. Now it's more even, you probably saw a pretty big uh, change there. You can see that looks much better. Um, so we're gonna do another stretch, because we, we can do that now. Um, it's looking weird, the histogram, but we're just gonna stretch that. And now it's really coming out. I'm just gonna do that. And um, there's barely any noise. I mean, there's a little bit, but not as much as there used to be. I'm just going to drop down like that. Um, so there's some vertical and horizontal noise going on. So I like to remove that with the tools here with the astronomy set. So we're just going to do that really quick. So horizontal banding. We're going to get that out of here um, really quick. So let's get that out. Boom. We'll do it again with the uh, vertical, boom. If you zoom in, you'll see that 
it's kind of gone. No, it's gone. It's gone. It's just the other one wasn't very much stretched. So, we're bringing out the nebula, which is awesome. Maybe we could do another stretch. Let's see. Um, of course we can. Then we're gonna... This probably won't turn as turn out as good as the actual process but that I did last night. But there we go. There's so much going on here. Like, look at all this. Like, so much. And it's awesome. But, see, with data, it depends how good the data is. If the data is good, it's going to take much less effort and less time to process the image. And this only took, like, 30 minutes to process. Um, I am going to do one of my favorite astronomy tools. And it worked out really well with this. Um, before I do that, though, I'm going to go to Filter, Camera Raw Filter. And this is basically what I did. I'm going to drag it in. I'm just going to add a little bit of clarity, just a little bit. Like 20. Like 20. Just like so. Um, and there's a lot of stars going on here. And, and I feel like this is the stars are taking over. Like the nebula. And I'm, that's, I'm not a fan of that. So we're just going to go to Actions. This might take a little while. But uh, we're going to go to Enhance DSO and Reduce Stars. And I'm just going to quickly boom just like that and this is going to take a minute i'll probably speed up the video just so it's it gets there and there we go it obviously made a difference in absolute like it just looks so cool this tool worked so well with this object i was so blown away honestly i will show you where the history here's that's instagram Here's history. Let me show you before and after. I mean, look at that. That is just amazing. Like, look at that. It looks so cool. Like, there's so much going on. I love the field of view of this freaking camera. Or not camera, of the, the lens, the Rokinon. Like, I've always wanted to shoot this. Like, I've shot it before with the 183. But the result with this camera is just so much better. I mean, there's the noise is coming out now, but there's still, like, it's not that bad. You know what I mean? Like the detail's still there. Maybe a little bit more, add more time, it'll look much better. But like, there's just so much going on here with the North America, and I think taking the taking a photo of the North America like this is just something awesome. And the stars look great. Um, maybe they could be minimized just a bit. So we're gonna do that right now. Uh, we're gonna go to color range highlights and I'm just gonna grab those stars modify and expand by let's say two because they've already been kind of reduced actually we're not gonna do that we're gonna do the we're gonna do the safer route <laughs> and we're gonna just gonna where is it make stars smaller we're gonna do that I did that last night and it worked out pretty well so we're gonna we're gonna make stars smaller and this should look pretty cool. I will right, we'll do it. We'll run it again. That just looks amazing. I'm just blown away by this camera. Like, I'm literally... Like, that looks so good. Like... This was so fun to process, and it still is. Look at that. Look at that, everyone. The North American Nebula with a 533 MC Pro. Absolutely amazing. I'm not going to go through the masking, but um, usually I go through masking to show like my color palette. But this looks really cool with the red. And uh, I went with more of a fiery orange or fiery red, um, which I really loved doing. Um, let me do that right now. Adjustments. Like more of like a like a fiery red, you know, like a like that, and then kind of like that, and it makes it more of like a nice fire orange. And obviously, like with the palette, you can add more colors. But I'm just gonna go with this right now. But um, yeah, I love this target. It's so cool. And of course, oops, wait. To end off. The photo we're gonna add 
just a bit like 20 percent just like look at that you don't even you don't even need it you don't even need it a little bit more like that i mean look at that this camera is so good anyway this is i might even post this this is this is awesome i love this camera i love it i love it anyway this this was me processing the photo. I just want to show you how I did the pro how I did the process and what I had to do to get this result. And this is exactly what I did, pretty much. And it didn't take long at all. What, like ten minutes, nine minutes? And you got a great result. Probably one of my best North America images I've taken. So thank you guys for watching. And Starfest is this weekend. Um, it's the weekend now, but the weekend coming. That's when Starfest is going, and I'm gonna see some awesome people. Um, hopefully I'm gonna meet uh, Trevor from Astro Backyard. Hopefully I'll meet him. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna see Caitlin. I'm gonna see Tammy. I'm gonna see Shelly. I'm gonna see everyone. Um, it's gonna be so cool. I'm so excited to watch or to see everyone's setups. But yes, thank you guys for watching this video. Um, I feel like I only upload monthly, monthly, which is not good. So I gotta start uploading more. But um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I appreciate you guys. Thank you. And until next time, clear skies.